hold up, what they finna say? Tell it to your mammy, it don't matter, I ain't listening anyway. They just mad to see the side to drop, they look like ocean spray. You can get it too if you just work more than you talk today. This what happen when you take your pain and make it motivation. It ain't gonna be easy trying to be a legend. It's the payment, you need execution, not excuses, dog. You It's important to learn who your circle is and where they're going. Your circle could include your friends, your family members, uh, co-workers that you're, you're close with, which I don't really recommend, but, you know, go to work, but, you know, don't get crazy with the whole friendship. Every interview I've ever held, I've always asked one of the same questions on every single interview, and that was, wh where do you see yourself in 10 years? When I get certain responses, there's like an alert in my head. I've never hired people when they've given me answers where they don't really have a, a clear direction of where they're going. That's just something that I've done. It's always worked out for me. If I've hired somebody that has a clear vision or they have ambition of where they're going to be going in 10 years, uh, it's always given me a great indication of, you know, how this person operates in their life. They know more or less where they're, they want to be in 10 years. And so I implore you to ask your friends and your family, hey, hey, just out of curiosity, like, what are you thinking about in 10 years? Like, where do you see yourself? You can totally do this, by the way. I feel like we don't fucking ask the real questions today to the people that are closest to us. And, you know, like, truly, I feel like no one asks, like, the questions that really matter. Everything's very superficial. But you really want to know because you might be with the wrong crowd. You know, people might not even have a five-year plan. Uh, they might have zero plans. And you are who your friends are. That's just the truth. Depending on who your friends are, it's very obvious the kind of person you're going to be in the future. Just in business. If you're around people that talk about money, newsflash. Your future will surround money. This doesn't have to be the ambition for everybody. That's not what I'm getting at. What I'm giving you is an example of the type of people you will surround yourself with now will determine most likely the kind of people you're going to be in the future so make sure your circle you get to know the people that are around you right now you might know them for years and on default you feel like you have to act and be a certain way and kind of keep things from them when you just almost like man i feel like i'm the only one trying to do something with my life you really feel like this ask your fucking friends like or your family members hey like what are you thinking? I'm I'm on this route and I'm, I'm I don't know if I'm going to do it, but I'm trying to get to a new place because I, I want to have a great life. I want to do all these really cool things that social media shows us what we can do. What's out there? If you want to travel, talk to your friends. If you want to have some money, some savings, talk to the people around you. Find out what they're doing. If you're listening to this and you're in your 40s and 50s, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Your relationships are very different to today's generation. Relationships are very different today with the young people. If in your 30s and under, it's very fast paced and like, it's almost like the truth is just uncomfortable being visible. I don't know what that means, but to me, what it means is. There's a part of you that you're not really showing to the people that you supposedly trust. Speak your mind. And if you feel like you're afraid to speak your mind around the people you spend the most time with, that's a good time to reassess where are you going and the kind of people that are around you, who do they mean to you? And here's the thing, I'm not saying cut people off, but give them an opportunity to tell you, hey, you know what, I don't know. What if that's the, what the person says? I, I've never thought about it. And then you can give them some insight. Well, I've been thinking about doing this. I've been thinking about, you know, starting this or studying this. Build that relationship. And if you feel like the person kind of gets offended and defensive with you, this is a real clear sign of the person that's in front of you. I'm telling you, the people like this, they don't make it far in life when it comes to comfort. They're going to be a part of the excuse wagon when you become successful. Because if you're listening to this, I know you want to become successful. 
they will make you feel bad about that. You don't want to be around people like that, so it's maybe in that case, it's maybe easier to cut them off in the beginning so you don't have to lose time because people will bring you down with their bullshit. They will bring you down with all the problems that they have. Their problems are now your problems, and what's happening while you're helping them with their shit, you're not working on yours. And I have a feeling that you're really trying to get ahead in life. Don't let these people take you away from you. That's all I want to talk about today. My name is Stephen Bavera. I'll see you in the next one. Cool. I was a fool